happens when two Inquisitors walk out onto a stage filled with an audience of Jedi cosplayers? We're about to find out from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Give it up for Moses Ingram and Rupert Friend. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> Look at oh this. my God, this is crazy. Wow. This is real life. Welcome you all. I love you too. I love you too. This is your moment. I love bringing. all of y'all. <laughs> it's so great to have both of you here. Thank you so much for joining us at Star Wars Celebration Live. Woo! Now, I'm going to start with you, Moses. Can you tell us a little bit about what your audition process was like for you, and what was it like for you to land a role of this caliber? Yeah, it's crazy. So the first time I got it, it was called Untitled Disney Project. And so I didn't even know what it was for like the first two days. It was like one really intense week. And then the first time it was me and Carmen Cuba, the casting director, and then it was me, Carmen Cuba, and Deb, and then it was me, Carmen Cuba, Deb, and Ewan, and then we were in the studio, and then we had one final Zoom where I thought I was gonna audition again, and Deb was like, no, I was just calling to tell you you're gonna be Reva. So it was pretty crazy, yeah. Oh, Rupert, can you tell us a little bit about your character? Yeah, so um, my character's called the Grand Inquisitor. Woo! Couple fans. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he's kind of one of the uber villains of the Star Wars universe. Um, and this is the first time we're going to get to meet him in a live action show. Uh, so I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Now, we've seen Inquisitors before in Star Wars Rebels and Jedi Fallen Order. Did you go back and watch any of those episodes as research? Uh, yeah. Well, I actually didn't. I actually, it, I felt like I had so much freedom to make Reva who she wanted to be, you know, being her in live action for the first time. I mainly just focused on the prequels. I don't know if you can tell by this dress, but we love the prequels over here. <laughs> What did you bring to your character that you hope connects with the fans? Well, uh, for me, I think everyone here would know this, but a lot of the kind of less super fans wouldn't, but the Grand Inquisitor used to be a Jedi. So to me, that's like super important for this. Um, I think that's a tough one. I think, I think she aims to please in more ways than one. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. That feels like a spoiler, but not a spoiler. <laughs> now, what was your experience with Star Wars prior to landing this role? I'll start with you, Moses. Um, so prior to this, I, I knew like Vader and I knew Obi-Wan, and it's really hard to believe, but I had never seen the movies. And so it was really this experience that sort of opened up the door to Star Wars for me. And I actually prefer it this way because now it's attached to so many personal moments and memory celebration, you know what I mean? So it's something that I'll certainly remember forever. And for Woo! And for you, Rupert? Yeah, we used to, you know, I'm uh, quite a lot older than Moses, so we used to totally dress up as the characters and run around in the woods and pretend to be, you know. Thank you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, as they just said, welcome to the family, and it is so exciting to know that we are only a few hours from actually watching this happen. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Great to be here. Crazy. Thank you both so much for sitting down with me and stopping Pleasure. by. We have lots more fun and exciting guests coming out here on stage, so don't go anywhere, y'all. Star Wars Celebration Live will be right, right after this. Yeah.
Thank you so much.